For the hip thrust, if you don't have a, a bar pad to use for those hips, you can always wrap a couple of towels or a t-shirt on there. Um, as you get really heavy, it does become a little uncomfortable on the pelvis and hip bones, so uh, either uh, run through it or uh, get yourself a bar pad. So it's going like this. You want to have something sturdy, either a bench or a box uh, that you can lay against. Come down, get this bar in a position. We're going to set up so our feet are right underneath the knees. Bring your body up. Okay. The box is set up right at about uh, the top, the bottom of my rib cage. Okay, so it's nice and protected from my back. I'm going to keep my chin tucked. So now way back here, and I'm not trying to go chin to chest here. I'm just keeping it tucked. Okay. So dropping my butt as low as I can. You can get to the ground. Awesome. Push through those heels. Squeeze your butt. Keeping that eye line the same. Dropping it back down. Up. Big squeeze those glutes, come back down. So one common mistake with the hip thrust is bringing your hips too far up. And that's gonna put the, the weight in your lower back. So you wanna focus more on the actual squeeze of your glutes, not necessarily just how high you can push those hips, okay? So I'll show you the difference there. This is me going just too high. I'm just driving up with my hips, right? And now I'm up and squeeze my glutes. So that line is still going to end up being the same, but if you start feeling that in your lower back, you're pushing too far up with your hips, and that's squeezing your glutes. So best way is start lighter with this, really feel it in your glutes, and then start adding weight to that. 